I was real confused. Little, little, little bitty. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my April Ipsy bag here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag and I've tried out everything except for one item in here. So I have some thoughts on these products. So I'm gonna run through them, share those thoughts and do a little unbagging mini review type video. So let's get to it. So the theme this month is Sideshow. So that's a little card that's in here. And then I really like the bag this time. I think it's super duper cute. Looks like a little ticket for a little show. And it's a really bright, fun color for the spring. Nice, like kind of rubbery, plasticky sort of packaging. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna get dirty. Seems durable. So I really do like the bag. First, starting with the thing that I have not tried. This is PS Cosmeceutical Infused Nail Lacquer. And it says free of, it's 10 free. Free of, I'm not even gonna try to say all those, but a bunch of bad stuff. It's free of 10 bad things that you wouldn't want on your nails, I guess. And then as far as what color I got, doo, 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 doo. I don't know. It has, a, it has a patent number, but I don't see a color name. So it's kind of like a mannequin nails sort of a color. I really like that color, but I do have fake nails. So wasn't able to try that, but if I ever get rid of my fake nails, which I'm sure I will at some point, then I will give that a try. So I'll, you know, keep it for that because it does seem like a really pretty color. And I love that it's 10 free. I prefer to go with nail polishes that have fewer chemicals in it. If you can, you know, go one or the other, I'd rather go fewer chemicals. Next I got an aloe soothing gel and this is by Hanalai, Hanalai. So it's just a little sample size. It says soothing aloe gel for face and body. So I did put this on my arms just to kind of like feel of it and see what it was like. It smells really good. It has like a, like a light cucumbery scent to it. I love the way it smells. It smells really nice. And I think this would be good for like vacation. You know, if you get a little bit too much sun or something and you need a little bit of aloe, it's a nice travel size. Not my favorite thing to get in a subscription service. I prefer makeup -y things, but I think the smell really makes me like this a lot more because it just smells very fresh, very cucumbery, which if you don't like cucumbers, you will hate this, but the scent of cucumbers. I love the scent of cucumbers. So I really like the scent and I think it feels nice. So good for vacation. Next, I got an itty bitty little product right here. Look how tiny this is. They crack me up with these little bitty samples. This is by Elizabeth Mott. This is the Show Me Your Glow Shimmer, Shadow and Highlighter. So I do have this on my cheekbones little bit on the inner corners of my eyes today. This is just little, little, little bitty. Like it's just very tiny, but it's a nice product. And I mean, I do use these for travel. Like this is functional. I could get a brush in it. I used my uh, Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter brush. So I just kind of like, you know, scraped it in it and I didn't really need to scrape it, but I knew that I could like get the product on there that way. Um, and it's a really pretty color. It's like a you know, champagne-y, gold sort of a color. Not super duper metallic by any means, but really pretty and I think very versatile, like good for every day, but can be built up and really then has like quite a bit of glow to it. So I do really like this. I think it's a nice highlighter. I wish it were a little bit bigger, like it would still be nice for travel if like it actually filled up this entire thing. Like if it weren't just a little circle and if it was actually like the whole rectangle, I would have liked it a lot more, but I like getting highlighters. So I'm still excited about this. Next I got a product from Ofra, which if you watch my channel, you know I love Ofra. I love their stuff. So I got Rendezvous Blush. It says use in palettes and kits. So I do have this on today. It's just a beautiful neutral blush. Does it have a color name? Well, I assume that Rendezvous is the name versus like, I don't think they're all Rendezvous bl blushes and then in different colors, I'm assuming that Rendezvous is the color name. So like I said, it's a really pretty neutral. Now it was one of those blushes when I put it on my cheeks, like it was instantly really pigmented and I was like, oh no, I got too much blush. But then it blended really well. So it wasn't hard to work with. It really blended nicely, but I mean, it is pigmented. It's a very pigmented blush. Now swatching it here, it seems pretty powdery, but I didn't find that when I was using it on my cheeks. It was like really nice to blend. So 
This is the first time I've actually swatched it. I just straight used it on my face. I never swatched it. So I feel like it's one of those that is looking deceiving in a swatch because I really liked it on my cheeks. In a swatch, it looks a little bit more powdery um, and a little bit patchy. Didn't find that on my face at all. So it's just a beautiful, like, warm, neutral, terracotta brown sort of a color. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. It's gonna go with a bunch of different makeup looks, just really versatile, really pretty matte everyday blush. And then lastly, I got a liner. This is from ColourPop. This is one of their cream gel liners, and this is in the shade Swerve. And there's kind of a funny story to this. So when I first opened it, maybe it's just been a while since I've ordered one of their liners. Do they always have turquoise at the top, like on their little tops here? Are they always turquoise? You have to let me know, because it's been a long time since I've ordered one. Because when I first pulled it out, I was like, oh, yay, that's such a pretty turquoise liner. I'm so excited about having a turquoise liner. Because I love the other liner that I have from them. It's like a coppery sort of a color. So I thought I got a turquoise. And then I pulled it out, and I was like, whoa, that looks really dark Like by the end. And I'm like, is it like a really dark turquoise or like a navy? And then when I used it today, I was like, that looks like a black. I'm real confused. And I looked it up online. It's a black. It's really just a black. I don't know why I was so confused by that. I just broke it off. It's soft. Don't pull out too much out of the container. You'll break it off. But it's a really pretty black liner and it's really, really pigmented. I would have been really excited about a turquoise because I love turquoise liners. I think they're beautiful. But I mean, I'm going to get use out of the black one for sure because the other one that I have um, from them, their other liner, I think it's, I think it's Show Me. I really like that one. It's creamy, it blends well, it wears well. This one was easy to blend. I was able to kind of like smudge it, but then it's set. Um, so I have no complaints. I think these are great liners. I've mentioned before that I wanted more shades. So I'm excited to have a black, but I also would have loved a turquoise as well. <laughs> You'll have to let me know about the top because I was real confused. All right guys, that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. So I would say overall a really good bag. Um, I'm not super duper excited about these two products, but I'm not like unhappy with them. I would have loved if I got even more makeup products, but three good makeup products that I really enjoy is still a really good bag. So I'm excited about this bag this month. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. Let me know your favorite thing that you got. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.